Hello there, it's Nooch, and you're about to fall in love with the way that Nooch completed the final tier of the Mind Games Brick Pace event. The ha ha funny joking no this is hard final tier without using Willa. You're going to fall in love and I think you know, you've seen the thumbnail. You're about to see what's going to happen. It's no surprise. It's never been a surprise. The solution was there in front of us all the time. And the solution is love. Okay, guys, we've got a, a full disclaimer here. This is the team that Nooch used to complete the the next two nodes. Let, let's take a look here. To complete the DigiJ node, which was, oh, this will be really hard, and then 2.3 and even harder. Nooch used this team. Um, I, I think I had a, a, out of five tries on both, it was five total tries on both. I had two fails, a bronze, and two goals. And on that next last, last node, you don't even need to get a, a gold. You can just, just finish it and you're done. So this is the team, and it worked. Had a couple challenges, a couple of trip ups, and it worked. Nooch tried this team over and over and over on the final node. We tried different variations. We put in Redbeard, we put in Scarlet, we put in we put in Gens, we put in uh, Gens and Kelvin, we put in lots of different teams. We tried different stuff, and it was failure after failure after failure. You guys, Nooch probably failed I'm going to say 20 times on this final level. It is really difficult, but was finally able to succeed with one specific team. And we're going to show it to you here in a minute. Now, a full disclaimer, guys. We've already told you it took forever. It was really, really difficult. So I'm not about to tell you that this one team works and you're going to, you're going to complete it automatically with this team. It is still going to be challenging. Nooch tried this team. The final team that Nooch, that Nooch did it with It was the first time Nooch tried it and he succeeded at the gold trophy. Then did it like three or four more times and failed each time to get that gold trophy. Um, so this is a really difficult node. It seems like it'll open up a little bit more when we get to that level 65. When that comes around, next time this brick pace comes around, we got level 65, we'll probably be better able to get it without Willa. But the thing is, if you have Willa and Basil at just a reasonable level, I think three, four, four or five stars and people with Basil at five stars and, and like get them at level 60 gear, you know, maxed out with gear. They've been able to achieve this event here in front of you right now. This is Nooch getting silver. Nooch is able to get silver with that original team, but not the gold. And you need the gold. The, the, all the hard work isn't worth it if you just get silver because then you have to keep playing it over and over again. And it's just so hard to get to. But guys, if you have Willa and you have Basil, um, Put them in there with your uh, with with their uh, uh, trader transport, and and you can get this level done. You you got Wu, Magisto, Willa, Basil, the trader transport, and I think it was Garmadon or something. I'm not even sure what the other player that people are using, other character. But people are getting it done with that team. So if you got that team, put them in there, get it done. If you don't have them, start farming Willa. Nooch is gonna now. Nooch has gens now, so he's gonna start farming Willa with this next level. Hey, sorry for the picture. It just came out differently. We're going to start farming Willa so we can have her available for the Spooky Kids event and for this event as well. And uh, and kudos to the developers for making something really hard that it took a time to get to. But Nooch really wanted to find a way to do this for you guys, to show you guys that it can be done. And if you put enough work into it, you can accomplish this event, get a gold trophy. Because now we've got, I think I've got 13 days left in this event. Let me take a look here real quick. 13 days and 10 hours left in this event. And Nooch can now loot that final node over and over again you, i put all the hard work in yeah i spent a bunch of gems probably golly if you watch if you watch the uh the live stream we went through several tries there and several gems there if you watch uh nooch probably nooch probably spent an extra i'm gonna say 600 to 750 gems maybe a thousand to get this done if that's worth it to you and some frustration to work through and finally achieve it Nooch will show you the final team, and, and Nooch started thinking here. So let's let's talk about some abilities here. Nooch started really thinking about Magisto's ability, and it's the bottom. Well, we've got Castle Heroes defense increased by thirty five percent. That's only really impacting uh, Magisto and Ghost on the team that Nooch was using. But whenever a hero counters, they have a hundred percent chance to heal ten percent of their max health. Castle Heroes are the most. That's fine. So you're going to get some counter attack with Magisto's Tower with the Stacks of Enchantment, right? You're going to automatically have counterattack there. 
But you can also get counterattack with Magisto's second special uh, right there. This right here gives heal and counterattack. So if you can conceivably give Lloyd, when Lloyd gets counterattack and then he stealths everybody so he becomes the tank, if he's counterattacking, conceivably he's healing for 10%. So he's not going to be, he's not, you know, he's going to re be recovering some health every time. But what can we add to that? What could we add to Lloyd? so that he could basically become a tank that's recovering health, not taking a lot of damage, and then a passive health recovery when the other team is counterattacking us. Well, as Newt's thought about that, he circled back around to, to love, to Kelvin. Kelvin, Kelvin is love. We missed, an, we missed, we were talking about that, we missed an ability here, let's go back. Oh my goodness, we're, we're having trouble with the video. Let's let the, Nooch is so absorbed with Kelvin's love that he missed that first ability. Okay, okay. This is Kelvin's passive. Kelvin's passive gives everybody 10% max health, so more survivability. And guys, these final tiers are all about survivability. That's where Magisto's Tower comes in because if you have stacks, you can't be defeated if you got that ability maxed out, and you just, you don't take any damage if you have stacks of enchantment, and you get hardy. So you're surviving, you're surviving and surviving. 10% max health on everybody gives them more survivability. Whenever a foe counters a sister does a bonus hit, Dr. Kelvin has a 65% chance to heal all heroes for 5% of their max health. So you're getting a lot of counterattacking from the other team. You're getting Burnabus counterattacking. You're getting some other counterattacks. You get uh, Jester Gogo to counterattack sometimes if, they got, if he's got the buffs on. When you get to the Ninjagos on that last level, you get a lot of bonus attacks from DigiJ. He's bonus attacking. And every time that happens, you have a 65% chance, chance, chance to get that bonus heal. And that is where Kelvin's special ability comes in there. But even more, even more for Lloyd, like we were just talking about. Select a target hero. The hero gains damage block 2 for 2 turns. Damage block 2 reduces the damage a character takes by 50%. So Nooch was thinking, if we can add max health, if we can put damage block on Lloyd while he has counterattack, so he's counterattacking, he's taking half the damage, and he's counterattacking, and he's going to be recovering, everybody recovering health 65% of the time when they take those counterattacks or bonus hits. Can we turn, can we turn Lloyd into the short-term tank that basically takes no damage at all? And that was really the thought. Now, we have other stuff on, there's other stuff, but that is the main thought of this, of, of these abilities from Kelvin that can help turn Lloyd into a short-term tank that takes no damage. And so we, we subbed in Kelvin for Ghost. So Ghost was serving as a tank who, when everybody, when, when one character got below 50% health, he would give stealth to everybody. And usually it would be Lloyd first, because Lloyd was, was tanking. He'd, he'd put stealth on everybody, he'd take all the damage. He'd get under 50%, then Ghost stealths everybody, including Lloyd, then Ghost starts taking damage. The problem was that you know you're just you're just continually taking damage and you're you're blowing through those stacks of enchantment and you're and you're counterattacking so you're recovering some health by with Magisto's passive, but it just wasn't enough. So so let's look at this team. This was the team that finally got the gold trophy without Willa. Again, if you have Willa and you have Basil, use them with Wu and Magisto and Magisto's tower. Just magic the living heck out of everything. Or excuse me, the Trader Transport. Pardon me. Just, you just got magic all over the place. You probably do it with Magisto's Tower, too. It would probably work. So let's take a look at how this works and how the first few turns go every single time. Now, you can see we don't... This didn't even start off great. We've got three stacks of enchantment on Magisto and one stack on Garmadon. And you want as much enchantment as possible so that your characters... Well, they're getting counterattack and they're recovering health when they counterattack. Um, but when you hit them with enchantment, they can't die. We've gone over that a few times. So... We didn't even start off great with that. So we, the first thing we do is we try to get this clumsy on Garmadon with Magisto's set first special. And it worked. There's two reasons for that clumsy. One, you don't want Garmadon to hit because he does a lot of damage. But two, when he hits, he puts buff immunity on your characters. And if he gets a buff immunity on, say, Lloyd or really anybody else, then anybody, then they can't stealth when Lloyd goes stealth. And it just puts you in a really bad position to get that buff immunity. So we get the clumsy on Garmadon. That's the first step. The second step is Jester's going to taunt. 
So you're gonna use magi uh, Wu's second special. You're gonna use Wu's second special. You're gonna wipe out all of his buffs. You're hoping for a Garmadon. You're hoping for Garmadon to come in there and assist. And Garmadon can get the buff immunity on Jester, because that'd be perfect. In this case, Lloyd assisted and uh, did some damage. And we got a, we got a, 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 a dodge down on Jester. That's okay. You really want the buff immunity from Garmadon. That's the perfect. So we have not started perfect on this round at all. We could have had a lot more enchantment at the beginning. We could have had a, a buff immunity there if Garmadon had assisted, but we didn't get it. Here we go. So Lloyd now does his special. Everybody stealths. He's tanking. We put the damage block on Lloyd. There it is. Damage block. Now he's going to be taking 50% of every hit he gets. And when he counterattacks with that enchantment, or in a minute we're going to give him Magisto's counterattack, he's going to be gaining the health back. Now watch how much health he keeps. Counterattack. He takes no damage. Now, he took damage on that shot right there. We got Garmadon. We're trying to decide what to do. Okay, we did the basic. You don't want to do the stomp until you have a real good chance of getting a critical hit. So you want Vulnerable to be out there because when, when he stomps and gets a critical hit with Vulnerable on your foes, everybody gets all of the offensive buffs. Crit, hit, crit damage up, speed up, offense up, you get them all. You're going to get a lot of this too. Well, well we had Clumsy on Garmadon. So Garmadon missed... Lloyd. That's a big, big deal. Now, we're looking at Magisto's first special, which puts the counterattack. It's the second special. Puts the counterattack on Lloyd. It heals him up. Even if you don't need heal, put it on Lloyd. Because he's going to start counterattacking. And every time he gets hit and counterattacks, he gains health back. He gains more health. So there it is. He took 1,400 damage. You can see it right there. 1,482 damage, but he gained 2,446 back no damage to him and the cool thing is with that going on and without ghosts in there it we're going to the hits are going to keep coming on lloyd and that's what you want on this first level you want the hits to keep coming on lloyd so here he countered again no damage oh uh, then we go after we go after burnabas with a basic from calvin it didn't work now he now we clear the buffs so we cleared the buffs from lloyd so now we're down into it we're going to use the AoE from Magisto. Unfortunately, what happens is Burnabas doesn't get killed. You're trying to kill Burnabas. He doesn't get killed, and watch all the health he's going to get back. He's going to get like 7,500 health back. So here we go. Here's a We pause it real quick on there, and boom. He didn't die. You see that 7,854 positive? That's Burnabas because he was the lowest health unit, and when he takes damage, Jester Go goes passive, heals him for, I think, 20% of his health so he heals for that health so that's a, that's an unfortunate side effect of what's going on now here's what we're doing pat we're going to pass around Wu's ultimate we're going to get vulnerable on these guys so then we can use garmadon special we want it we got to make sure so what's going to be happening is you're going to have gogo -Go and Burnabas taunting so what you want to do is in that case lloyd was going so i attacked gogo -Go with lloyd you, you want to attack Gogo -Go because he didn't get the vulnerable because he's got buff. He does have vulnerable. No, I don't think he does. He's got buff, debuff immunity. Now I can use the stomp on Burnabas and watch all the buffs all my guys get. Offense up, critical damage up, speed up. That's where you want to be at this point of the battle. Now you can use Kelvin special. You can knock out Burnabas. Boom, done. Now you can start using uh, Magisto special. And you want to use these specials as often as possible from Magisto and Wu, because when you use them, you're getting these stacks, you're getting these enchantment stacks, you're making your guys invulnerable to dying. They won't die, they'll just they'll just gain hardy. Now we're gonna get uh, Burnabas come back from the dead. Uh, I think at some point we're gonna, we, we, let me go after, let's get let's get uh, Yuppie out of here, right? There he goes, 17,000, I think that'll do it. Now we're gonna use uh, Magisto's second special to get all the buffs back off of Burnabas. What we're trying to do, guys, is get to this second level completely intact if we can get to the second level everybody's got all their health we've got some ultimates loaded up we've got some specials loaded up we're going to put that counterattack back on lloyd here i think that's what we're going to do yes so now when he counterattacks, he's going to gain all that health back but he's going to dodge we're trying to get to that second tier against the ninjagos with all of our stuff intact so we can really do some damage and finish this thing off and we're going to you guys know that but so we're, keep, we're just doing basics there. You see, even, even there, Garmadon did a 5,000 hit for damage, and he recovered half of it. We're still using our specials there when possible. Trying to save ultimates, but using the specials with our magical heroes, Magisto and Wu, because we are getting stacks of enchantment with those. We're using basics otherwise. Lloyd's basic does more damage than his, his special. 
taking these guys out. We're just killing them with basics. We're getting to the second level, and look at this. We're going to get there with almost full health on everyone. We're going to heal up with Wu here. We are going to get to this. We're going to get to the second level, full health on everyone, some heals over time, some defense up, and then we're going to start thinking about what do we got to do about Kai? What do we have to do about Kai? We need to kill Kai before anything starts to happen because Kai will do a number on Lloyd and you won't even know it hit you. So we do the AOE there. Now, this is it. You got Wu's, you got Wu's ultimate loaded up. You use Wu's ultimate and look. Look at the beauty of this. Primarily, you've got ability block on Lloyd and you got vulnerable on everybody and ability blocks all around. But Lloyd can now not stealth the whole team because you've got ability block. He's going to use his basic or his first special. Now we can start to put the counterattack back on Lloyd. Are we going to do that or are we going to attack somebody? There it is. No, no. I, I Honestly, Nooch probably should have put the counterattack on Lloyd, which we did. There it is. So we put the counterattack on Lloyd. He's not quite, he's not quite taunting yet. And we're, we have Lloyd first. We can't use our taunt. So here we do. We go. Don't go after Kai yet. You want the stomp on Kai. We keep getting turns here. You want to save the stomp for Kai. You want to kill him in one shot. You want to get everybody the buffs. This is what's going to happen. Here comes the stomp. Big boy hit 15,000 damage. He is gone. And right now, Nooch is feeling it. We got everybody with speed up. We got everybody with offense up. We got everybody with crit damage up. Nooch is feeling it right now. We're just down to Digi J, Lloyd, and Wu. And if we could take them out, we're only guy that's in danger right now is Wu. And now Lloyd's in danger. But we do have a stack of enchant where we're trying to get more. It's getting a little bit dicey here, even with all of those things that went right here at the beginning of the second level. Because it started off bad at the beginning. It picked up in the middle at the beginning of this level when everything went right. And now it is starting to get dicey. We get Wu's ultimate on us. Look at this, guys. We are so close. Two hits on Lloyd, and he's going to be gone. Two hits on Wu, and he's in danger. But Lloyd's out there, and he is exposed to the world right now. He takes a hit. He's only really got one hit left. We can't even use his special to gain to gain health back. We're sweating it. We're, he's got defense down. He's only got 1.3 bars of health. He is ready to die. Oh, my goodness. That is so close. So close. All right, guys. I promise this is going to work. <laughs> but you, if you don't have Willa, if you don't have Willa, guys, you are sweating this all the way. Please don't hit Lloyd. Don't. We don't need any AoEs. Do we have any AoEs? I don't see any AoEs out there. Now we got Wu's in danger. He does have Hardy, though. Because he has Hardy, because Wu has Hardy, I believe we threw the damage block over to Lloyd. But let's see what Nooch decided to do here. Yes. Because Wu had Hardy, we threw the damage block over to Lloyd. We're hoping to get a heal in here. We're going to get a heal for Lloyd right here. Now, we're out in the open with Wu. He still has Hardy. <laughs> Guys, it's so stressful. It is so close to dying here at the end. But we held on by a toenail. By Lloyd's little tiny pinky toenail going to market. These guys, all these, these guys all have Hardy too. Look, Wu and DigiJ have Hardy. We're not gonna be able to kill them that easily. But still, you're still feeling. Now we recovered all that Wu, all that Lloyd health. We got all this health back. We're starting to feel better. And oh my God, oh, oh my goodness, guys, Wu is one hit from death. Now, now Wu is one hit from death. The stress can. Uh, Nooch is stressed right now talking about it. Nooch is stressed right now talking about it. So let's get Wu off. The, oh, we missed. Oh my goodness. Okay. DJ sitting there. If he gets a hit on Wu, it's all over. It's all over, but the but the counting, I don't even know. But look, Lloyd comes in at the very end with the heroic stealth, the heroic taunt, his his weird taunt that he does. Wu comes in, launches the the uh, the ability block. Oh my gosh, we've got the vulnerable, we hit him, we hit him again, we hit him again, we just keep hitting Diddy J until he's gone, he's not gone yet, and now he's gone, oh my goodness guys, there's your gold trophy, you're gonna be sweating it, you're gonna be sweating it, you can, you can, you're not gonna be able to get to this level, if you don't have Willa, and you don't have the Trader Transport leveled up, this is, this is the only team Nooch has been able to do this with, 
Nuke's tried so many other teams. The basic team where you have Ghost instead of of uh, Kelvin showed some promise, but Nuke was not able to do it until he put Kelvin in here. Nuke did achieve it the very first time he used Kelvin, but I have to be honest, I've got to be very clear. I tried this three or four more times to repeat it and was unable to repeat it. And in fact, just failed. So you guys, it's it's up to you. Is it worth it for you to loot that last node, to spend several hundred gems refreshing and, and getting to that gold trophy? It's going to be your decision. Leave it up to you guys. For Nucho, it was worth it so he could show you this battle. This was a really fun, really stressful battle. Glad you hung in there with me. While you guys are making the decision, do I use the gems, do I not? Do I try Calvin, do I not? Keep in mind, all these characters that Nucci use are all at their max. We, we've got, um, you know, Wu and Magisto at 6 stars, level 60, gear 7. Um, Garmadon's at 5 stars, level 60, gear 7. Kelvin 7 stars. And Lloyd's at 7 stars also. So keep all that in mind. These are maxed out characters. Maxed out Magisto's tower with that uh, final ability, I believe. The one where you can't die if you have enchantment. So use all those things if you got them. It's up to you to spend the gems. If you decide to do that while you're doing it, while you're doing it, you have to remember. Nooch, too good. Of course you enjoyed laying witness to this video. Subscribe here on Lord Vader. Watch another video over here. Remember Nooch too good.